Mr. Zitzmann, worldwide, we have a problem with energy. Global reserves are running out. So, how to save energy is one of the most highly discussed topics in technology. Is this a machine made to save energy? No, a machine like that would be very nice, but you can't build a machine just to save energy. This is the Educate PA, the training system to learn about ways of saving energy. The main focus is on closed-loop technology, and the system illustrates this very clearly. Clearly? The system seems to offer quite practical training. What are the practical elements? Firstly, the system will be delivered as a set of components in a box. Oh, that means the trainees have to assemble it themselves? Yes, that's the first practical part of the project. Secondly, the system, of course, is not a toy. There are many industrial components in this system. And thirdly, the medium water can be used to explain things like flow or level control very well. Okay. And last but not least, the system provides a step-by-step -step introduction to closed-loop technology. The Educate PA Basic introduces manual measurement and control, and the Educate PA Advanced covers automated measurement and control. You talk about measuring. This looks like a really special instrument. What is it for? This is a smart meter. It can be used to measure energy consumption. Fluid Lab PA enables the students to store measurements and to graphically display and explain energy flow. Here there is a small conveyor belt at the end. I can see that's a part of the whole system. What kind of project can teachers do with their students? One motivating and highly relevant project could be a competition, such as who can design the most efficient process to fill bottles with liquid. Great, Mr. Sitzman. I learned a lot and could now answer the question, how does Jewish get into this bottle? Thank you very much.